channel. A beautiful, talented, and charming young lady, my sister Janet Jackson. People in my age range in their 20s who I guess aren't that into pop music think Janet was only popular because of Michael. Oh yeah, then why Jermaine and Latoya had such huge solo careers? Janet came the closest to matching Michael's brilliance, she's established herself as serious contender in her own right. And I'll never get over the fact that she had the most famous brother in the world and never got called Michael's sister. The talent, the power, and the saddest thing is that the most disrespected woman in music is Janet Jackson. It's truly a disgrace the extent to which Janet Jackson's cultural impact as a groundbreaking performer has been written out of the popular narrative as a result of the agenda against her in the 2000s. If you still got people checking for you even if your music is no longer relevant, that's legendary status right there. And that's all about Janet Jackson. It seems the media is desperate for Janet Jackson to quit the industry, despite Janet and her team admitting on various occasions that a new album is in the pipeline, the media just refuses to acknowledge it. Instead, they repeat the same mantra, Janet has quit the industry, gone into hiding, converted to Islam and refuses to see her family, with gossip about her brothers begging for money and her suffering from severe OCD. Janet's new tour and album were supposed to come last year, but due to the pandemic it got postponed. Janet's team haven't said anything regarding the era or when it's coming yet, so we're all waiting. Fingers crossed for this year, folded hands. I 100% believe the Super Bowl incident had a great deal to do with this, but also think her personal life and other issues prevented her from putting out music to stay relevant and combat the bad press. In terms of long-term legacy, I do think she is a legend, a superstar, and I hate how everyone pins the Super Bowl accident on her when it was Justin's fault for ripping it off anyway. The way she was thrown under the bus, Justin escaping all the heat was super gross. The proportion of that scandal were absolutely ridiculous anyway. Is everyone really that pressed over a two-second boob shot 16 years ago? Pre-Super Bowl Janet was considered one of top female pop singers but afterwards America seemed intent on punishing her as much as possible it. Not Justin, of course, since he was an innocent victim. Even if you never were a huge Janet fan, it's hard to deny her impact and influence. The Super Bowl is always cited as the reason of her fall, but they forget she played the Super Bowl. There is a reason she performed at the Super Bowl as she was one of the biggest female singers in history in music up until 2004. You can't divide her career between the time leading up to the Super Bowl and the time following it. But come on people, of course it wasn't Janet's fault, it was a wardrobe malfunction in front of a massive audience. But anyway, even if it was her fault, should it really be still important after all these years? Let her shine, let her be, support her. Many female artists fell out of their dresses at public function, even at kids' award shows. And come to think of it, if a nip slip could cost you a career, Madonna wouldn't have had a career in the first place. Maybe 2021 will bring our black diamond back. I hope so.